My name is Marcia Barbosa. I am a physicist working in the south of Brazil. I research on water. And the question I try to answer is how can I separate salt from water desalinization in a quick and in inexpensive way? Water makes part of your body. I would like to say I am water, so I study myself. But also the planet is governed by water, covered by water. So water is fundamental for understanding us, life, preservation of the planet, for understanding from where did we came and where are we going. I am a female scientist and I can see that when I'm working, working with my colleagues, I can bring a different perspective. I bring a different perspective because I have a different cultural background. I learn things very different when I was a kid. I dream about different things. So one of the things I understood about water is the, how water diffuses faster when it's confined. And I only could understand that because I love dancing. And I could see the molecules dancing between hydrogen bonds. I doubt my male colleagues that don't love dancing would understand that. For the first time I realized, wow, I am a woman. I should not be here in this place where in my first day of class at university. Before that, half of the class at high school were female, half were male, but at university we were eight girls in 80 students. And soon the other seven girls went away and I was by myself. And I was looking at those professors, all male, all powerful. I felt like this is not my place. I felt like I was an alien there. But okay, I love science, so I'm going to build my career in this male field and they will have to accept me just as by myself. I remember once a female professor told me, Marcia, you have to try to dress like a man so they might not notice that you're different. I said, no. So since then, I always wear a skirt. I want every single colleague to remember I am a woman and I'm here to stay. My biggest challenge as a scientist is when I cross the line from being a PhD student. A PhD student is someone that's doing work for you, you professor. I cross the line from being a PhD student to become a competition for the money. It's, it's where you start to get this pressure. It's where they are going to use every single difference that you have for being a female. If you had kids, well, this woman is spending too much time taking care of the family. She's not going to be competitive. If you don't have kids, soon she's going to have kids. If you are strong, wow, she has hormonal imbalance. And if you are too soft, well, she's weak. She is not for science. So every single characteristic is going to be taken against you. You have to stand up. But always remember, you are not alone. There are other women there. I do computer simulations. It's like making a video game of water molecules. The advantage of doing computer simulations is that I can do all pressures, all temperatures, all mixtures, in a matter of seconds, cheaper, and then I can also look what's going on there, understanding the mechanism. With that, I can design situations that then the experimental people will do experiments to understand what happens with water in that very strange and extreme pressures and temperatures. I do pure theoretical physics. What means that I have to know all about experiments. I have to read every experimental data that is 
planet and being doing the planet. And then I have to come with ideas about how water is behaving, design my models, and then try to reproduce and understand the mechanisms behind what the experimentals are observing. The video games, they have a part in which we play God. Because when you do computer simulations, we can disconnect things. Imagine, I, we, I can disconnect gravity and see how would be the world and the molecules without gravity. Then I can disconnect charts and see how the systems behave without charts. In that sense, I am a video game producer of the molecules that are present in our body and our planet.